Good morning. It's Monday morning, June the 13th, 2022, and it's a joy to be able to share some truths with you from the Word of God today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and we're going to read again from Proverbs chapter 24. We're going to finish this chapter today, Proverbs chapter 24, verse 32 to 34. Here the Bible says this is continuing on the same subject as we began yesterday. Then I saw and considered it well. I looked upon it and received instruction. Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep, so shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want as an armed man. And this is talking about laziness or slothfulness in the, in the life of an individual. And the Bible says that when a person just continues to sleep and they fold their hands in sleep, that poverty will come upon them as one that traveleth. And this was a continual threat for people of an Eastern culture to have armed bandits come and invade them. Maybe it was nomads, a nomadic tribe that was violent and cruel, who would come and invade their premises and steal their goods and do damage, even harm or kill them in an effort to rob them. And the Bible says poverty will come like that, like an armed robber in the life of an individual who determines not to be diligent in his labor, a person who decides to be lazy and slothful. And the earlier verses there in verse 30 and 31 spoke of the vineyard that's all grown up with thorns and nettles and the wall is broken down and the Bible goes on. And it's kind of a repetition of Proverbs chapter 6 where the Bible warns against slovenliness, slothfulness, laziness. And the Bible says that your po your poverty will come as a person that travels and your want is an armed man. And it's something that you won't be able to avoid if you are not a diligent soul, if you're not careful about your business. And this can be true of an individual who is the head of his household, who runs the finances of the home to make sure the the check is, checkbook is balanced and make sure that the bills are paid on time. It can be true of someone who's maintaining even a larger situation where he's in charge of a business and making payroll and all this kind of thing. If he's not careful of the directions and trends of the culture, he will find himself failing in his business if he's not diligent to be careful to watch such things. And we can all fall prey to that. And it's a matter of slothfulness. It's a matter of laziness. We don't think it's important enough to keep track of things. But it is. The Bible says it's extremely important for us to, to, to be good stewards of what God has placed in our hand so that we manage those things well and properly. The Bible would encourage people, and this is part of good character, to be a diligent worker, and the Word of God challenges folks not to be lazy. The Word of God challenges people not to be slothful about their, about their physical life, but also about their spiritual life. Be careful. Don't allow thorns and nettles to grow up around your heart in your relationship with the Lord. You be diligent about that. And the flesh will always find a way to creep in. In fact, I've said many times that when there's a lack of leadership somewhere along the line, there, there's a vacuum and something or somebody will always rush in to fill that void. And it's true in our personal lives as well. The flesh is always ready. The devil is always waiting to try to rush in and defeat the work that God is attempting to do. And don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if your flesh stirs up when you are neglecting the spirit. Don't do that. Don't go there. Don't allow that. It's a constant battle. And the Apostle Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27, I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest after I preach to others, I myself should be a castaway. In other words, the Apostle Paul himself said, I could fail. I could lose my testimony, lose my, my opportunity to be a blessing to others. Just don't allow that to happen in your life. You keep humble before the Lord. Keep seeking his face. And allow him to accomplish his purpose in you and make you a blessing and keep you a good testimony. God bless you today.